hello guys so the part one of this video i had a lot of noise issues so i had to change my microphone sorry about every single noise you hear on the part one of this video i'm just trying as much as possible to be comfortable while creating content that's why so i'm very very sorry so we are going to go straight into our retouching yeah okay give me a minute so sorry So he's walking in there. Why is he not walking here? So, first of all, what we are going to do for this video is to see how we can easily crop our image to our instagram size yes i still have this exporting so our instagram size is normally five by four by five which is eight by ten so i am going to crop this image to instagram size i'm gonna keep it like this bring it in and i'm gonna say okay so this is how i want the image to look when i post it on instagram but i still want this part to be chopped off so i'm going to just use my c for transform and transform it so the system is lagging because of what i'm exporting but you bear with me because i have to make this video so this is okay for me first of all the first thing i noticed about the image is that the image is crispy clear like it's very very sharp so since my image is already sharp the first thing i'm going to do after merging everything into a new layer is to take out my spot healing brush and try cleaning up the image first before i begin retouching so i'm going to clean this clean this clean all of this clean all of this whatever you're doing please try as much as possible not to rush it first of all i'm using a wacom tab that enables me to do faster but that doesn't mean you have to rush it as you can see even with this because of what is exporting the brush is lagging so I'm going to clean all of this I'm still I'm also try I'm also going to clean these areas so I'm still waiting for it to load then i'll check my before and my after so i have cleaned up a lot so at this point some persons might want to just color grade from here because eh, to them the image is looking the way they want but for me this is the point where i use my ultimate retouch panel you can use frequent air, you can use beauty retouch, you can use any of them you want to use. They all produce the same result as long as you know what you want to um, produce as the end result. So they have four different options. They have the portrait show, median, and um, three blur. I'm going to use the two blur. 
which is like one blow for me to retouch with then extra for me to go back to if i make mistakes so i'm going to keep this at seven let's see and there are still much to keep but i'll keep it at seven because i want the skin to be a little bit smooth let me just use it i want the skin to be a little bit smooth all these days are looking very rough i want to smooth them out some persons for this kind of image because sorry because the image is very sharp they might want to use a radius of 20 17 let's try 15 and uh, 15 15 this is the kind of radius some persons might want to use for this image but i'll just use it so i'll just click my ok then i am going to start brushing for those of you who want in-depth tutorial like in-depth in-depth tutorial of how this thing works i am going to advise you to dm me or you can check out my store and buy one of my classes so at this point i am going to turn off the texture it's not really necessary but i am doing it because once you're just retouching on the blur alone it enables you to do better like you see exactly what you're doing better if you're making mistakes because you're using the blur it's going to show you that you're making a serious mistake so that's why i like putting it off not because it's going to affect anything please if you're looking for my brush settings just check here you see my brush settings so i am still going to keep brushing uh, so because of the work i'm exporting and i'm recording my screen at the same time is making my system that feels like it's very fast to be slow so i'm gonna keep doing this Okay. So you really do not have to be rushing it. Trust me, the old thing that I'm doing on the background is disturbing me, but I think that's not enough reason why I should rush it. Now it's a little bit fast. I feel like what I was doing on the background is done. Maybe that's the reason why it's a little bit faster. So I'm always increasing and reducing my brush. Is how I retouch. I would just keep doing that while I, the small areas I have to reduce it, the big areas I have to keep it big. So, yeah, so to so let's just be going gradually. So every single time you retouch, you notice that you, you improve yourself more than the way you retouch before. So it's really, really important that you keep practicing. By February, I'll start the 30 days youtube video a 30 days i make sure in 30 days i drop 30 different videos
So. So, I think I've done a good job here. I've done a good job here. So, I will have to rotate my image. And paint again. This time, I'm going to be touching just gradually look at the places where I did not touch before these edges You must be hearing the sound of my keyboard. That's because I'm using a game mask keyboard, keyboard that people that used to play game would normally buy. So we have the image looking very, very nice. So we are not doing much the next thing we want to do is to check out our results while we check out our result after turning on the texture layout so when we turn on our texture layout this is what we have good looking image let's check out before this is our before and this is the after of what we did so at this point we still need to use our clone stamp to touch some of the big textures we want to remove like this one this one and this one and this area is looking too sharp so just reduce this then let's come over here sorry Now, if you're doing micro dodge and bone, you just touch these areas and it will take you time. But these are the things you want to remove. You want to blend every one of the textures to look the same. You don't want one part of the image to be looking as if the textures are too much. Sorry if I'm talking too much. Sorry, the explanation is too serious but i have to keep it going as i'm doing the video so we have this yes so we have this so this is already looking nice in the next episode we are probably going to be color grading this image so let me go back let me with with my texture on, I want to fix this place. Yes, small details like that are very, very important. So, we fixed it. We fixed it. So, if this video was helpful in any way, please do well to drop a like. Do well to subscribe, do well to tell someone about me so that you can follow and learn for free. Yeah, see all these areas. You need to touch them. Don't feel like because there's a makeup there, you will not touch it. You need to touch every single area that needed to be touched. Yeah. Yeah, here we go again. 
So once again, my name is Romain GT, and see you in my next video. Peace.